So, hi dear Aries, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a journal of reading for all the Aries Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you at the first place and this reading is valid from today till the 25th of September and this reading is valid for every 12th sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign. It's for those who are in complete no contact from each other right now. Let's start Aries, your person that you are in no contact with, their current feelings for you right now. Let's see the person that you are no contact with right now, their current feelings for you at this present moment. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords and the Death card. Mm -mm. Aries, this is someone who feels like having collaboration partnership with you once again. Their ego is melting. Their ego is melting. Their like conscious mind, their like practical mind, their their thinking, their overthinking about the situation is kind of melting. This is someone, this could be a person who never shows their emotions or who never expresses what they feel to anyone. Or they might be scared of being vulnerable or their ego is always there to protect them from opening up emotionally to anyone, not to you only. And now this person is feeling like they should put aside the ego, they should put aside the like practicality, the conscious mind and they should put in the effort and energy in this situation between you and them to collaborate with you, to have some kind of uh, partnership kind of energy with you. Yep. So, <laughs> this is someone who feels like collaboration or partnership should be done and equal give and take of energy should be there from both the parties, from both the sides. And they feel like putting an end to this ego, ego games, mind games, manipulations, ch cheating, lying, whatever it was. They're manifesting a collaboration or partnership with you. You can say reconciliation with you. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them, Aries? We have the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, right? Their intention here is to like, uh, like uh, uh, enhance them as a person and come forward towards you when they are completely healed, when they are completely a, to a, completely a new person, a new energy. I think this person wants to keep the past in the past. They feel like coming towards you with a fresh energy and with this... Uh, if there was a third party kind of situation or if there was an issue because of what you guys because of that issue you were, you guys were not able to proceed further i think this person feels like putting an end to that kind of issues completely coming towards you with a very loving nurturing and caring kind of energy coming towards you with a full freedom kind of energy where they're completely single and stable too and they definitely want to have a brand new beginning with you now to be honest with you more than love it's attraction it's physical attraction, it is infatuation, it, it's this certain kind of uh, pull towards you that they cannot deny and they want to start with that kind of energy of let's start all over again. Might be this person wants to start with this uh, uh, physical connection first, physical intimacy first. I don't know what this uh, card is trying to tell me today but there is a certain kind of attraction, there is certain kind of pull between you guys that this person wants back. And they want to start with that kind that kind of pull, that kind of attraction, that kind of energy of, I want you back. I want to be with you. I am completely single. I am healed. I am a changed person, emotionally mature. But maybe this is this person is too much attracted to you physically and that is why they want to like start with that only. Because they might uh, want to know if it is just attraction or love or something. I don't know. I don't know if it is making sense to you. Good. It's If it is not, I don't know. This is what I'm getting from this card. This person wants to hold or hold on to you and this person wants to keep you as close to their heart as they can. <laughs> their intention is good. Their feelings are good. Let's see what action is this person going to take. Sometimes we do have an intention of like having getting married to a person. But we don't open up, uh, open up uh, because of uh, fear or something. I have seen this happening with lots of lots of people. Their intentions are good. Their feelings are good. But when it comes to the action, they don't do anything about it. I have seen so many relationships falling apart because of that. Let's see what action is this person going to take towards you, if any, by the 25th of September. Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords. My God, kill me. <laughs> kill me. 
this person definitely wants to take the action they are passionate about you they feel a soulmate kind of energy towards you but when it comes to, to like uh, this energy of taking action towards you they are feeling completely blocked they are like i can't do anything about it i am in a trap i am in a jail i can't see the clear picture i can't see the future direction i can't see where aries energy are in this situation if they are free if they are available if they are wanting me what if what if what if they have lots of questions they have lots of what ifs and lots of uh, uh, overthinking kind of energy in the situation that is why i do see this person this person is dying to connect with you but they are not doing it for whatever reason they are feeling completely blocked might be you have literally blocked them or uh, there is huge blockage that needs to be resolved before you before they can come back forward so that is why this person is not doing anything they are patiently patiently waiting for the time when you guys are going to reconcile and create something beautiful once more mm, uh, that makes me sad now the guidance for you guys in the situation aries we have the six of swords the king of pentacles the two cards came out at once and the world card hmm okay yeah keep moving ahead there is something that you need to put an end to there is a completion of a cycle that you need to complete first it's a unfinished kind of business that you need to finish first then only you will be able to find the solution or resolution to the problem that you are facing for some of you it's commitment issues for some of you it's money financial stability issues for some of you might be one of you is married and the marriage is a issue whatever the issue is here before it is before the issue is going to be resolved uh, it's not going to be like uh, the the problem is not going to be resolved if the issue is not going to be addressed and resolved properly hmm there is something that needs to be finished here that's need that needs to be completed that needs to come full cycle a uh, circle so again it's it could be commitment it could be marriage it could be financial stability it could be anything related to stability or money or family then only you guys are will be able to find a solution here yeah this is what i'm getting for you guidance for you as a guidance today so thank you so much for tuning in aries i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste